Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In today's episode, Travis of Career Killer Audits gets arrested on a warrant. Common sense dictates to not fraud it if you have a warrant. Hello, and welcome to the Frauditor Zone. What you just saw is not actually a creepy and odd version of Shadow Puppets, as it may have seemed. It's Career Killer Audits trying to adjust his camera for his live stream that he started when he was creeping around, filming very close to houses, when the police were called. I don't know where he is, but there is more info to this weird story before he gets arrested that you will soon find out. So let's now watch. What's up, mofo? So I'm here. Um, I was walking down this street here, filming, taking some pictures of some of the houses. I was standing right that side, well, uh, the street right where that wheel's standing, uh, where this white GMC is. And this lady passes by me and turns into her driveway. Then she comes around, she asks me what I'm doing. I said, I'm filming. She said, can you please leave or stop filming something to that effect? I advised her that I was standing on a public roadway and that I was not on her property. I can film anything I can and want to from public. She advised me that I couldn't and she called 911 and now we're waiting on the police to get here. Do you have any questions after his wonderful explanation? Well, I'm sure you must, as do I. Like, one, why is he going out filming anything when it's dark outside? Two, why is he filming houses when it's dark outside? Three, does someone lurking by your house at night filming it rate high on our creepo meter? I know it does for mine. Looks like I got PD arriving on scene here. It's gonna be Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. I'm gonna get the phone so I can record and talk. All right. I was standing on the road. How's it going, Deputy? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Mr. Green? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing well. What's like birthday, I explained Mr. to this... I don't need to tell you that. I haven't okay. uh, committed a crime. Uh, like I explained to this gentleman, I was walking down this public roadway, taking pictures of the houses. At the time that his wife made contact with me, I was still standing in the road. Even if I wasn't in the road, there's a public easement because there's no sidewalk, so I still have footage inside of their grass, but I wasn't. Um, and she came out and she asked me what I was doing. I said I was filming. She asked me to leave. I told her I was on a public roadway. She has no authority on me. She calls you guys, so that's where we are right now. Go ahead. And this is Deputy Russ, guys. What's going on? Well, Como, what's going on? Man, all of this for me? I feel important. Yeah, I know that's why. Oh, go to hell. Hey, Deputy. Hey, 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 h
Now, would you guys care to explain to her that I have every right to record in public? In our neighborhood's been robbed a bunch recently. I see a reason to wear a mask on the the house filming. And he's taking pictures and filming, and I asked him to leave, and he said he didn't have to leave, that it was his right to take pictures. I don't have house. to leave. This is a public roadway. I just explained that to you. They just agree with me. You guys have no authority over me. I, d I wasn't on your property. Even if I was, there's a public easement. Have a great day. Well, back at you, buddy. Hope you had a great day in jail. Well, you have a right to be quiet also. Sir, could you let me speak to them for a minute? This is a public roadway, isn't it? Could you step back over No, I won't. Okay, alright. He just pulled up to make sure they were okay because they were scared of the black guy with a camera. With a mask. Oh, so the plot thickens. Not only was he creeping around and filming houses in the dark, but he was wearing a mask. He should be glad that the police were called because one day he's going to find himself staring down the barrel of a gun if he keeps doing crap like that. With a mask. Oh yeah, I was casing your house, you said. I Go to hell. Because I wasn't. I Obviously, I wasn't hiding. You saw me. That would be very dumb, wouldn't it? Deputies, you mind getting your name and badge numbers, please? You can see it on our vest and we don't have badge numbers. You have an ID number? Nope. What's your call sign? 355. Oh, you do have an identifier. And that's, maybe I can't that's, that's read. Can you articulate sign. your name for me? You can read. How do you know I can read? Because you read it earlier. You said I did? Deputy Russ. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Deputy Russ. There you go. Can I get your name? Higgins. Higgins? Davis. Appreciate it. You got your body cam? I do. I like to have the body cam down here so when people say I'm on their property, you get a better view of where I'm standing. That's pretty cool. Am I being detained? Am I free to go? You're not free to go. You're not free to go. Not free to go? Why not? Because you're lawfully detained. For what reason? Can you articulate the reason that I'm being detained? Just a second. Can someone articulate the reason for my detention? There's one, two, three, four, five, five deputies, and no one's going to articulate the reason for my detention. Have not broken the law. Can't sure articulate a reason. What's that? Sure about that? I'm positive. I haven't been on their property. And even if I was standing on the grass, there's public easement because there's no sidewalk. What did they say? What did who say? The people who come out here and she said I was standing at the top of the driveway. Body cam footage shows that I walked right across here. And I never actually stepped foot onto the driveway. You got all your bases covered, don't you? Yes, sir. You know these people? Well, I didn't know him until he came out. That's Dr. Erickson. He delivered my children. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. But I actually started filming down here at the last block and I was actually walking through and just getting pictures of the houses. And then this one was really nice. So I had stopped and took some pictures and I was standing right there. She pulled in and then she came around and she asked what I was doing. I said I was filming. She said I have no right to film or take pictures of her house. I explained to her that I'm in public. You know, I could take pictures as long as I'm in public. And she said that she was going to call you guys. And then she said I was casing the house because I had a mask on. So. Well, now it makes even less sense. He was walking by at night, saw the house, and thought how pretty it looked, so he decided to take a picture of it from the driveway. I'm calling bullshit on this one. What kind of picture would he have gotten of a house in the dark, and what was he planning on doing with the picture? Now, adding in the fact that he's a frauditor, what does make sense is that he was prowling around looking for content. He was purposely filming houses in the dark, while wearing a mask because he knew how suspicious it would look and that the cops would be called. Then he goes live after the fact and plays the victim. It's a typical frauditor move, but frauditors keep forgetting to do one thing before they perform such stunts, and that is to check if they have a warrant first. Oh, I just gave it away, didn't I? Oh well, it was coming soon anyway. What's that? I just wear a mask when I'm out sometimes. My bad, guys. Uh, Lord and Miss, what's going on, man? 
Hennessy, what's up? Yeah, it absolutely sounds like I should be free to go, but uh, Deputy Russ said that I'm being lawfully detained and uh, he can't articulate the reason for the detention. I believe the Supreme Court's rule that uh, if you can't articulate a reason for a detention, it's considered an unlawful detention. Can you articulate a reason for a detention once again? Under arrest for what? Got for what? Kind of for That's the wrong. It's not around my neck. Okay. Well, we gonna take it off around your neck. Hold on, hold on. It's around my neck. I got it. That's unclear. Uh, hey guys, I'm being arrested. You have a warrant for unlawful use of the telephone. Unlawful use of the telephone? Are you serious? Okay, so we're serving warrants. Huh? But you wasn't doing nothing wrong here. But I guess you didn't know you had one. You have anything else on you? you I got pepper spray in my pocket and I've got cell phones. What was that? Yeah, I threatened to use it. You walk right up in my face. Hey, Skip, coming to Lawrence County. We appreciate your right to exercise freedom of speech, buddy. <clears throat> Can someone loosen this cup up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll loosen up just a second. Mm -hmm. Bridge feet for me, Mr. Green. Oh, you can't turn that off. Yes, I can. No, you can't. You watch and see. Okay. That's a civil rights violation, my bud. Oh, you're under arrest, buddy. You still can't turn that off. Well, they could shut off his phone, and they did shut off his phone, and it's not a violation of his civil rights anyway. Now, let's look at the charges. So he was arrested on February 22nd for the charge of telephone slash use of 911 number unlawfully. He was released on a PR bond of $465. Once he was released, he of course went live. So let's switch to that and hear his side of the story of why he was arrested. Grab your popcorn. What's up everybody? TG here, Career Kill Audits. With my main man, Upstate AC News slash Four Officers Safety. The police. Lawrence County. I'm out. For those of you that don't know, I got charged with unlawful use of 911 uh, because I was out taking photos and this lady says that my monopod was a rifle. She called the cops. I said, well, f you. I'll call the cops myself. And uh, the cops came out said I wasn't doing anything wrong. Uh, but they later staffed a warrant saying it was illegal use of 911 tub. I was arrested last night on a warrant for uh, unlawful use of 911. But I'm free. I'm out. F Lawrence County. F the police. F all those sons of bitches. Fuck the Erickson too. Yeah. <laughs> or Alicia's wife. Were they both out there? Yeah. She was the one in the car. She pulled up first. And she was like, what are you doing? Why are you taking pictures? In the white SUV? Yeah. And I'm like, well, if you're asking me why am I, what am I doing? Why am I taking pictures? Then you obviously know what I'm doing. Like, fucking cops. Hey, you only got three? Three. Seven. And so she calls the cops and they show up and telling them I'm, I'm on the street. I never was on her property. Even if I was standing on the edge of the grass, like she said, it was public easement. They were like, well, you got all your bases covered, but 
then they said, oh, well, you got a warrant. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. So last night I spent the night in Greenwood County Jail. And then today I went to Lawrence County Jail. And I just got out, uh, what was that, 540? Got out about two, almost two hours ago. So I just want to go live, let everybody know that my main man, for officer safety, came and got me. I'm about to go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter. Go get me something to eat, take a shower, and get, get me some rest. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Just so you know, I'm not really crying. I'm just laughing so hard that I'm crying. And I'm not laughing so hard because Travis was arrested. I'm laughing so hard because a foreigner is going to take a shower. I'm just so proud. For this segment of the Foreigner Fatigue Cooldown, I received an email request for borrowing owls, so hope you enjoy them. <laughs>